This is actually cool because Madden is so used to recycling promos that to see something distinctly new, I'll give you a golf clap. You don't get a real clap, EA, but you get a golf clap, all right? Now, yes, technically this is really just an out of position promo, but it is super cool to get it this late in the season. And they have some crazy, completely random cards in this promo. If you're not familiar, it's literally just a bunch of NFL players in completely random positions that we can use on our Mutt team. As you guys know, I don't do the scouting report. I don't know all the cards in the game. I do know one because I follow Micah Parsons on Twitter. It is a Micah Parsons 98 overall halfback. Yeah, I'm so excited to use it. Hopefully we can pull it. I guess hopefully it's in packs. I don't really know if it is or not, but regardless, there is a new house rule. So I just want to shred this 12 times backyard ballers bundle to see what, you know, what cards are in this promo. Hopefully snag Micah Parsons, hop into a couple games. I think this is going to be fun. The big, the question of the day, my favorite question. What's the animation? <gasps> You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of NFL Street. Wide receiver Richard Sherman. I'll take it. A modern shot. Roy Williams. Not bad. So each of these cards also has abilities just baked on. And that's the same. Okay. Same exact card. I'm trying to keep track of the animation too in case I get the really good animation. Matt Milano, Jonu Smith, that's the same animation, so probably not a good one either. Vernon Butler Center. I wonder what the big animation's gonna look like. That's gonna get me going, dude. That's the same animation, can't be anything that good. Uh, right end, ah. Panay Sewell? <laughs> that's not The problem with the out of position promo in Madden, and why I love that they did this, Aaron Donald fullback, why not? The problem with out of position was to get an out of position card, you actually had to have played that position in a real game. But with this, they just said, they just said, fuck it, when was Kenny Clark right tackle? He never was. Maybe in high school or something. But yeah, they just kind of threw all the rules out the window. That's what I love about this promo. Tim Tebow! That's technically not even... That's actually kind of legitimate, too. He was tight end for a little bit. You know what? What am I talking about? Maybe Kenny Clark was a right tackle at some point. What do I know? Shree Floyd, Tyus Bowser, Aaron Donald fullback. This is just, like, such a meme team. Imagine getting shit on by someone running a full backyard ballers theme team. Just the stupidest players in the stupidest positions, and they are just shitting on you. Richard Sherman, the packs, though. I mean, I'm glad that the topper has those three guaranteed, but these packs are kind of dog water. The best I've gotten is a 91 and we're in March. All right, this, oh, it's a topper. That's nasty. <laughs> What is this? Is this gonna be like a 99 speed middle linebacker? What is this? 97, I thought they'd give him 99, but 97 speed, 96 excel. Tackle is horrible. Why is his block shedding 88? That's so high. Hit power is 75, higher than I expect. And he has 97 zone coverage. Dude, he's actually insane. So this is a 94. Let, I, I'm gonna guess I don't get the animation here. I bet it's 95 pluses for the animation. No? 94's got it too. That is so hard, dude. Oh, <laughs> what, what, what abilities does he have? Improviser QB Joe Mixon with pass lead to lead and dashing dead eye. Is that what that is? It's actually really good abilities. Oh my God. All right, so what do we get for a 93? What do I get animation wise here, if anything? Oh, I get an option between two 93s. Andrew Thomas tight end or, you know, I have to go Sean Taylor right outside linebacker. Yo, shout out to anybody who watched Wheel of Mutt. Would have been two years ago Wheel of Mutt. I had had Sean Taylor right outside linebacker out of position from the Christmas promo and he was a god. He carried that team, dude. So good. There's also these, the 87 plus and the 93 plus pack. I'm gonna open the 93 plus pack. Let's go five rolls. If I get any dupes, I'll quick sell them. We can open one more every time we get a dupe. So, okay, that's a dupe. We're still at five. Whoa. Okay, so it's 20,000 training for the pack and the 93's quick sell for 13,000, which means I absolutely have to get a 94 plus or I'm losing coins every single time that's a 94 plus let's go i said i'm losing coins it's training we actually made training back there with tyreek but it's also a dupe all the gamblers out there let's keep track of our training uh let's just start from here we're starting with 513,000. so if i kept all five players we'd be at 413 and we got the animation it's tyreek again bro there's got to be more 95s than just tyreek i refuse to believe that's the case i think there's there's like multiple 97 98s i vaguely remember that i just don't know who they are is there only two fucking is there only two players in this pack Sheesh. Andrew Thomas, I also have you already. Another nine, dude. Okay. It's looking like the pool of players is actually kind of shallow. Now, I do know, I do know that there's multiple waves of this promo. EA loves their fucking waves of promos, right? Big animation! That's what I need! Dude, it was cool the first time. I know you have more than Tyreek in these packs. 
I also want to walk you guys through a super simple skincare routine. It comes from Geology, and they're sponsoring today's video. So if you've got acne, oily skin, wrinkles, or dark, puffy spots under your eyes, which I personally do get a lot, lack of sleep will do that to you, you're going to want to check this out. Now, there's a million different skincare routines out there with a million different products. But the reason I love Geology is it is so simple. You've got your everyday face wash. I lather this in my hands, onto my face every morning and before bed. Super simple. In the morning when I'm done, I look for my yellow bottle. This is my vital morning face cream. Keeps my skin moisturized. You gotta remember that moisturized skin is healthy skin. And dry skin is where it's gonna crack and you're prone to getting acne. So this is crucial. And honestly, probably my favorite product from Geology, big part of the routine is the nourishing eye cream. It doesn't matter if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s. The skin under your eyes does not discriminate. It can get dark, puffy, and wrinkly. It makes you look super tired even if you're not. Not a good look. I always apply this at night before I go to bed. And then I reach for my blue bottle, the repairing night cream, super similar to the morning cream, except one is specialized for night and one is specialized for morning. And if you're stupid like me, it's super simple because they're color coded. So I can't really mess that one up. And right now, just for my audience, they're offering a 70% off discount. You got to use the code MMG70 when signing up. And you don't just get their award-winning eye cream. You get a whole five piece custom skincare routine for just $15. The eye cream alone retails for 45, so it's an incredible offer. You don't want to miss out. Just click the link below and use code MMG70 to get started today. Check it out, boys. I love geology. I know you are too. And enjoy the rest of the video. The waves of the promo, there's like a wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four. So we're going to get a lot more of these backyard ballers. Don't be Tyreek, don't be pissed. Let's go. Well, no, I also have you, bro. I was so excited for it to be not Tyreek that I kind of forgot I also have Joe Mixon. Mixing what? these nuts in your guts. <laughs> I'm just going to open this till I get a player I don't already have. I guess it's possible I have all of them. I get the big animation again. That's just uncanny. How is that possible? Might just have to go the old fashioned way and hop on the auction house. That's a big animation. Let's see if we have a. One more. This is my final pack. This will determine my fate. I think it's going to be Sean Taylor. Oh, it's a big milk. Milk. Ah! And for all you gamblers out there, I've opened like 20 of these. I started with 513, I'm at 514. So I am a thousand training up, no harm done. By the way, don't take that advice. If you gamble, you will lose. That's kind of how gambling works. Don't go opening these thinking you're gonna make a bunch of training. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go the old fashioned way. And I'm gonna go into the auction house and see what players are just completely evading me. So I am gonna get Micah Parsons right now, but trust me, there will be a full video on Micah Parsons and probably on anybody else that's super cool. Oh, okay. Never mind. I feel great about this now. There's just Joe Mixon and Tyree Kill. So really the only thing I was not getting would have been whatever's in 96, 97. And it is Micah Parsons halfback. I could have pulled Micah Parsons halfback in there. There's also a strong safety Jimmy Graham. That's awesome. I think there's a 98. It's like Ricky Williams wide receiver. I mean, this is cool, but you guys know my opinion on this stuff, which is I never personally watched Ricky Williams play. I just don't have any feelings towards this. Although I do like Ricky Williams and a bruiser route tech wide receiver is kind of awesome. I'm sure he's a beast. I might save that for its own video, but I do have Joe Mixon. I do have Tyreek Hill. I think I want Micah Parsons and Jimmy Graham right now. What I really like about this is you can get abilities on, you can get abilities that players at those positions could never get. Like, I don't think you can actually get bruiser at wide receiver. Thanks to this promo, you can do it. Oh, wait, I just saw it on Micah Parsons. Wait a second. Like, look at this Micah Parsons. So you guys are definitely gonna see a full video on this. 96 speed, 96 Excel. He's not the craziest, but he does have 98 break tackle and 96 truck so definitely a beast but really what's crazy about this car that you're never gonna be able to see again is his abilities he has red zone threat and tank tank you can only get on halfbacks red zone threat you can only get on wide receivers he has both and it looks like i was kind of worried you might not be able to customize these cards you can put even more on so jukebox tank red zone threat that's so op if only i could give him backfield master then he would be just broken bro although i could always go hot route master on my quarterback although i can't really because my quarterback is joe mixon and i don't think Joe Mixon is gonna get the hot route master. He can get escape artist, but it's like 10 AP, right? Yeah, that's just, that's crazy. I ain't doing that shit. 
Tebow's got Bulldozer mid in elite. Sherman's got Slot Apprentice mid in elite. Vernon Butler has Identifier. I'll take Identifier. Pass lead elite. Dashing Dead Eye is crazy good on him. This is actually hilarious. Jimmy Graham, Acrobat Pick Artist. Pretty standard stuff for a strong safety. Tyree Kill with Acrobat Lurker. I mean, he is five foot nine, so that's a little concerning. In my opinion, this Tyree Kill is either going to be an insane user middle linebacker or he's going to be ass. And there's no in between. Sean Taylor, Crusher, and Lurker. Heavy ball carrier fatigue on hit stick tackles and spectacular catch animations. What would probably be good is giving him Enforcer, but I don't have any AP for that right now, so I won't do it. And then Swole's got Edge Threat and Tip Drill. He's got Tip Drill. I am beyond ready to hop into a game. There's also its own house rules, which is probably what I'll play with Micah Parsons when I do the Micah Parsons video, but it's called Super Plays. You get 10 for a touchdown, five for an interception. You need 15 points to win the ball game. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Let's get the shmoney, boy. Hey, wait a second, dude. He's got Joe Mixon and also my user right now. Looks like my sub linebacker is Jimmy Graham. In this formation, the middle linebacker is always that what the game defaults as the sub and by the way he's a monster he's so fast i expect him to be way slower he's fucking moving bro i guess i didn't check i didn't check jimmy graham's stats but i need to after this game because this user is gross dude all right couldn't get to that one but that's okay rocked him let's go Check down Mania right now, but he's getting it across. He's getting it across. That's all you gotta do. Oh, puts it in the middle. Nice throw, Joe Mixon. I don't know, dude. I'm kind of getting dotted up. He might, he might get a little score here. Oh, jeez. Well, he's not in. I'm on DJ Swearinger. No, I got caught. Oh, I said my teammate set a screen on me. This guy's got a great offense, so he's killing me. Wow. And that went through. 11 to 0. I got a score and then I got to get an interception. So you also start in this game where you also start first and 25, right? So I got to get a lot of yards, but I also definitely want to get Micah Parsons involved. That is not Micah Parsons. Gotta remember to sub out the third down running back, which makes no fucking sense. Fourth and 13. It's actually open. Let's go. This game ain't over, baby. Ain't over at all. See if he runs the exact same defense with the exact same scheme. He wants to jump it. Mixon's got room. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Whoa! <laughs> I was so scared that I wasn't going to be able to juke because I wasn't like across the line of scrimmage or whatever. I was scared I was going to pump fake, get rocked, and fumble. But it worked! And we've got Peak Zone Bubble. He knows. Oh, he's a subscriber for sure. Did you see him sink to that? Jonathan Taylor's got it though for a single yard. Let's just hand this off to Micah Parsons. Cut it up the middle. Tyree collided with me. Made a pretty good stop. It's not game over if we don't score here. Oh no. He screamed around the edge. Kenny Clark right tackle just got bodied. I guess I could have just chucked something up, but if I throw an interception, he gets five points. So that was the smartest thing I could have done there. So he is going to hand this off. He's going to get five yards. One! Jimmy Graham! What a lurk! He's such a big boy! I can win this still. I can still win this. All I got to do actually is put the ball in the end zone and I win. Damn, this has been a hell of a game. He doesn't see Marcus Allen get a juke. Hey, he's got Jimmy. Dude, he literally has like the same team as me. as Tyree Kill, Jimmy Graham. Well, bro, Michael Parsons has red zone threat. I'm pretty sure I can just throw it to Michael Parsons in the end zone if he's in single coverage. Oh, I could have thrown it, but he knew. I'm throwing RB. He's open. Timo! Ah, Timo! No, oh, that's why you're a quarterback, you fucking bum. I'm going Micah Parsons on a stretch. We gotta punch this puppy in. Let's go, Micah! He's got it! <laughs> I can't believe we won that. Jimmy Graham iced that game up, dude. He iced that game up. That INT changed everything. Micah Parsons finds his way into the end zone. So here's what I don't get, guys. Can somebody explain this to me? Because I, I was asking it in a video a while ago, and I don't get it, right? Marcus Allen, he's my third down running back. Does that mean something else than it's just the running back who comes in on third down? Like, what does that mean? Because I started that game, and Marcus Allen was the starting running back at the start of the game. So, like, and it wasn't third down. I don't get how they're determining who should be in when. Either way, Michael Parsons is in now, so it's all good. Michael Parsons was so open, it should be a crime that I missed him. Someone needs to castrate me. You know what castrate is, guys? It's when someone chops your balls off. Someone needs to come and chop my balls off. I wish I was like you guys. I wish I was a pro player like you guys and I didn't miss a read. All right, well, we've got some... Why is Joe Mixon not running a route? Or Michael Parsons not running a route? Oh, this is a train wreck. All right, broken play. Waller, please, please, please! <laughs> He has dashing dead eye. He has dashing dead eye. I'm supposed to hit that. I'm telling you. So now we go Parsons up the field, and he's just wait. No. 
No! No! Darn it! It honestly looked pretty good. Joe Mixon just couldn't make that throw, unfortunately. And I don't blame him. He is a halfback at quarterback. I'm starting to realize, though, using this Joe Mixon is just like Lamar Jackson in real life. It's a running back trying to play quarterback. <laughs> A little, a little RPO action. His offense is nice, but he's got a lot of yards to go. Weird offense for this scenario. Fourth and 13. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> what? Who even is that? And why did he just moss Isaiah Simmons of all people? How? INT right there would've been huge because I'd have the five points already, but I'm not worried. I don't think he's gonna be able to replicate that. I just cannot throw an interception. Little man coverage, Micah Parsons burns it. And take, yes sir. Runs through Gilmore, that's 22 yards for Parsons. There's Darren Waller killing the man. I was gonna say killing the man coverage. Unfortunately it was not. But there's Micah Parsons, easy throw, six yards. Let's go no huddle. Cause I think Cooper Cup's gonna be open for a touchdown now that he's gonna sit on the, he's gonna sit on the underneath. Oh, he does it. He tries to stay on it, but is he in? <laughs> Kyle Van Noy's just slow, bro. He's just slow. I thought for sure he'd take the underneath and I just like schemed him up, but he was so slow. It didn't matter. I could have thrown it anyway. Two point conversion. I'm gonna hand this out to Micah Parsons. I like it. I don't want to accidentally throw an interception either. Come here, come here. He was screwed no matter what. See, this is why that INT on the two point conversion would have been crucial because the game would already be over if I had gotten that. No! Oh, Jimmy Graham, come on, bro. I know you know how to toe drag that. I'm very happy with this. He's looking at the left side crosser. Got hit too fast. It's fourth and 25. If we give this up, I'm gonna be disappointed in the boys. Oh, that's a stop. Let's go. Good edge pressure. You're not gonna moss me again, sir. I'm sorry. All right, coming over the top. What a throw by Joe Mixon! Debo Samuel. Ow. Hey, way to hang on to it. And I think this is a Micah Parsons touchdown. It's really hard to stop this route. Oh, uh, no, it's not. But it could be... <sighs> I like this Joe Mixon. I like Joe Mixon a lot. And he's a goner. He's a quitter. Patriots fan is a quitter. Come on, bud. He was just saying, <laughs> sup, baby girl. Hey, stop. That's good. We're going to go with a little stretch. I don't really think this is the play call here, but I just want to do it. Oh, that might actually work. No shot. <laughs> oh. That was the slowest, this is the slowest dive ever. This Micah Parsons, it kind of feels like his feet are stuck in the mud a little bit. I have to imagine his change of direction is not that high. That's probably why. Still hilarious though. All right, last game. Let's make it a good one against the Cowboys fan. We can run him with Micah Parsons. I like it. It's first to 25, so we kind of need a lot here. But there's Tank, baby. I don't think he saw it, so he dives early. He's not gonna get that. We're gonna, was that Michael Parsons? Oh, I thought I just hit Michael Parsons with Michael Parsons, but it wasn't him. Third and 13, we need a big yard play. I'm gonna look for Michael Parsons on, uh, on my beautiful route right here. We're gonna double team off that edge. Hopefully Mixon can get around it. Oh, it was there, but, oh no, stop. Don't stop your route, Cooper Cup. Ooh. First and goal, and there is Parsons underneath. He is butt naked wide open. It should be illegal. <laughs> He just sent Diggs to the nether realm, dude. Did you see him? He was glitching out. He was on a different planet. He got hit so hard. I am going to put Debo to the end zone. I'm going to put Darren Waller on a curl. And I think Darren Waller is going to be super open. What the fuck was... <gasps> that was a horrible throw by Joe Mixon, but it worked out kind of. Yes, sir! That's why you run tank! Ah, he tried to light me up and he couldn't get it. So honestly though, the two point is kind of pointless because I have 10 points right now. So I really shouldn't even try to throw this because if I try to throw this and throw an INT, it's just not worth it. I'll just go out of bounds. I, I guess, yeah, I'm kind of confused. What's even the point of that? Why would 11 points, wait, what? I got, a, I got a point anyway? You guys know how house rules is always super broken? Well, we just found a new one. Don't even attempt to go for that two point conversion. This could be crossers though. I'm gonna go on Tyreek Hill. I haven't used Tyreek Hill yet. I forgot about that. So I think he wants like this or that. Oh, no. Oh, Sanders is open. Wait, he's kind of not. I'm on this. <gasps> no way. Oh, he, he sauced me, dude. I thought for sure he's gonna throw that. Not sure what he's gonna want on this one. Is there a sit down? Oh, that's fine. Oh no, it's not fine now. What a spin move. Name it, throws it to no man's land. We could, we could pretty much ice up right here if we get this stop. If he runs the ball, he will pancake my entire team, but he won't run the ball. Yep. Beauty. Mine! Best game! Kill! 
<laughs> that was kind of cheesy, but it's his fault. You gotta run the ball at some point, bro. Uh, that was a little cheesy, though. I had 11 men in coverage right there. All right, we're gonna end it off hot. Three straight win streak. Super plays. I like it. Not my favorite house of all time, but it's in. I put it in the top five. It ain't, it ain't bad by any means. But yeah, that's it for now, boys. Hey, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm gonna get you like a full Micah Parsons video because it'd be sick. Basically, gonna be more of what you just saw, except dedicated to Micah Parsons. And we're gonna have a fucking blast. So thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.